What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. The only way you saw this deck profile coming is if you were on the drunk stream last night when I got so excited that this got sent in. Ninth place out of 300 duelists. I'm pretty sure that's the best showing that Magnet Warriors have had at a tournament event that size. <clears throat> Grant Williams managed to do this with a really spicy, really fun, and cool deck. And he's going to explain the choices to you better than I would. He's going to give you a detailed tournament report here. So let's go ahead and get into his words instead of mine. Hey, John, I just got back from the Danbury, uh, I believe it's Connecticut, Regionals. 300-ish people got ninth with a Block Dragon Magnet Warrior, a uh, thing. That's what he said. And was just seeing if you'd be interested in getting the list for a video or something. Let me know if you're interested. Thanks for your time. Oh man, I, I replied like five times instantly. Yes, send me. Yes, wow. Yes, send me. Tournament report in detail, deck list by DB download, and shout outs. But if you want to do a live profile, send it in too. So he says he'll get me the stuff tomorrow, and he does. So he says, round one, I played against Shadol Dinosaurs, a three game match, and I won. Game one was long, I ended up losing. I open pretty all right having Nat Turiabi's Curious Block Dragon, but he had the Dino Kaiju to come back down on that beast, followed by Shadol Fusion into Super Pill. I believe I got around his first board with a Magnet Warrior combo I searched up combined with Block Dragon coming back again, but the first Super Conductor had to put too much damage on board and finished, uh, second finished it. Game two. He couldn't really manage to get through a similar board, so I won on my second turn. Game three, I had another really good opener, and he bricked on dolls. Round two, invoked Wind Witch, Draco, Hand Trap, question mark, three games, a W. Long game one, where I took the L again. He stuck an early Crystal Wing turn one, and every time I tried to force through with Block Dragon and company, I got hand trapped, and the Crystal would also have a negate. Eventually, I beat everything in Borrowload Crystal Wing, but too much damage was done on turn or a turn or two later. Mechaba finished with two Alistair effects. Game two, I open well as he has no hand traps, Centurion Beast, Curious Proxy Dragon, and Orbital Hydrolander to get the scoop. Game three, I Baylor Alistair and have a weird hand that just ends up be putting like 9,000 in, so it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I have a weird hand, but I did a 9,000 damage. Round three, Dino Variant, two games win. Opened pretty well with Scorpio, but I got Ogred. And then Orbital Hydrolander with Block, Curious, and I think Misses was still my board. Very strong despite lacking the Naturia Beast. He played Armageddon Knight to get Pill and Pilled out Conductor, banishing G-Rex, Giant Rex. I chained Hydrolander to Conductor to kill it, and he couldn't deal with the follow-up. Game two, I opened Brilliant and mowing my opponent's zero hand traps. <laughs> mowing into my opponent's zero hand traps. So yeah, does that mean he, he grasped? Is that is that what mowing is? Round four, spiral, three games, another W. Went second, opened bricks and set one. I brick it and also set my glow up bulb. My opponent mind controls glow up bulb and attacks for 1900 after flipping spy and makes lead Kribo with my plant. I top brilliant. But Lone Fire and Cobra are in hand, so I play Lone Fire Baiting Ash, and it resolves the uncontested Brilliant for a load of damage and ends the game. Game two, he opens up AFD, Ancient Fairy Dragon, and does field card stuff and gets out uh, Firewall, Trigate, Helix, and Last Resort Sleeper. Uh, Last Resorted Sleeper. Didn't have any hand traps, and my hand was decent, but not good enough to get through Sleeper. And he used Firewall to bounce Scorpio. Game 3, combo into Nat Beast and Friends. Tough guy and Agent buy him a turn or two, but Snow keeps Battle Cat safe. So that was it, Battle Cat. <laughs> this guy has so much personality, and I love it. Round 5, Magician FDK. Three games win. Game 1, I set Glow Bulb and Foolish Thousand Blades. It's a... Dink kind of brick, but hey, I figure with that, I probably won't die like 60 to 70% of the time and set up some stuff. Nope. Starving copies Nightingale, burns for four, pierces for more. Game two, open with Lone Fire to no response, and the Turia Beast takes the game. 
game three he can't ftk so he does like zephyr guy omega and vortex i power through baiting the vortex then resolving brilliant and he forgot omega before the battle phase and i got out Boralode. so i swung the game my way after taking out some of his men and taking the omega round six mech knight in both two games lost game one was a cobra scorpio hand i said this guy draws cobra so much for 60 cards i set a dude and i think i have at least a play the following turn but mechaba was too much with the banish negate game two let him go first and hand trap the alistair draw for turn and it's not very good had one play to go for that may have been able to get me going but hand traps came down and he followed up with mechaba and company the invoked matchup is the one i did not expect to see as much as i did and it was a pretty hard matchup for the deck with the grave manipulation they have plus the banish of mechaba if it was either or it would be a swingable it would be swingable more often but i'll probably have to work on the build to be able to handle it live and learn round seven zombie light sword two games a win i opened both games with a lone fire and an ash versus my opponent who game one Open game one with his garnet or so he said it was hard to tell because he complained about everything and opening poorly when he resolves like two charge of the light brigades and desires etc i really didn't play out my combos too much here just killed him super fast with hydralander and big earth fellas so i wouldn't have to listen to him anymore round eight mech knight invoked two games w Game one was a long, god-awful struggle that I was sure I had lost at several points. Mechaba was doing his thing, and a hand trap kept me from the Turia Beast, and we kept trading, and two of my block dragons had been banished, and we were both in a state of top decking when I got another brilliant fusion to dump the last block and reestablish a board, and it got wiped by Alistair into the Spellcaster Link 1, and... Spellcaster Link 1 and making them to into elysium and i got something that allowed me to re-establish again definitely the craziest game i've played in a long time game two was pretty much in time when we started and i'm pretty sure i just hand trapped the alistair and followed up with enough damage that he couldn't reasonably come back with my snow being live round nine well well knight invoked i guess mech knight yeah, two games lost opened super well game one but ogre stopped it and then it cuts off. I, I guess uh, he, he copied and pasted everything for me, and uh, I guess it just cuts off there. But you get the gist of it. He, he got beat down by the Unvoked and played it a lot. He says, I, I asked him about his Zodiac choices here, Thoroughblade and Rap here. He said, it came up making Curious off of MX Saber and Voker because sometimes, uh, because he's a warrior and I needed non-warrior targets. And if I open red, I can either load an extra earth into grave if it comes down to it, or MX into blade and load an earth and get a draw. And to be fair, the look on people's faces was pure shock and terror when they would uh, come out. Shoutouts to all the guys that at Deal Me End Games in Boyertown is his only shoutout. So let's go ahead and get into Grant Williams' uh, deck profile here three block dragon three orbital hydra lander having that effect that i guess a lot of people ran into it's it's pretty good three lone fire blossom three predaplant ortho scorpio that all important uh engine that allows you to have multiple uh targets for brilliant three giant rex three ash blossom and joyous spring three link slayer a seeing some extra cybers hype here with two dot scraper as well we got two doki doki this card's amazing it, it's what my girlfriend makes my heart do two beta the electromagnetic warrior two alpha the electromagnetic warrior and two gamma the electromagnetic warrior along with two copies of Berserkion, the Electro Magna Warrior. I love seeing Gigantus in a top cut deck in 2K18. Well, almost top cut, ninth, rest in peace. Two copies of Fairy Tale Snow, two copies of Mathematician, two Ghost Ogre, two Effect Veiler, showing you hand traps are not void even in a 60 card amazing spicy deck. Two Gym Knight Lazuli. One Lapis, getting back those extra things for Black Dragon. One card Trooper. One Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades to go along with the Trick Clown for the uh, MX Saber Invoker combo there. 
one Rat Pier, one Thoroughblade, one Darling Cobra, one Glow Up Bulb, three Brilliant Fusion, one Foolish, one Reborn, one Soul Charge, and that grass looks greener, mowing that lawn. In the side deck, we got three Chaos Hunter, three DDD Rebel King Leonidas, popping up several times this weekend if you've uh, been looking at the YCS deck list. One Effect Veiler, double evenly matched, double dimensional barrier, double anti-magic arrows. This card I underestimated. It's actually pretty good. Two Zapion, the Time Lord. It's pretty good in this format. One Borlo Dragon, one Curious Lightsworn Dominion, one the Code Talker, one Guy Saber, the Lightning Shadow, two Mrs. Radiant, one Proxy Dragon, one Underclock Taker, one Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. One Levier the Sea Dragon, MX Saber Invoker, Naturia Beast, it's so good to see you again. Gem Knight Seraphonite, uh, Gem Knight Zirconia, and one Gooey Gooey Baguska Boy. And there you have it, Grant Williams doing it big with a very, very interesting deck. This format is just amazing, the innovation is so, so fun. And I'm personally a huge fan of seeing decks like this just come out of nowhere, left field, you didn't expect it, and doing that well at a 300-man event. Thanks for watching, everybody.